Welcome, we're taking another step forward with our Spring Security Series. Today we are creating custom users that we load from our database. Back in Eclipse, we can see which classes have been modified and which new ones have been created. In the Entity class, four fields have been added. First name, last name, email address, and birthday. Next, we created a new class my user. This class extends user. This new class has five new fields in addition to user's fields. First name, last name, full name, email address, and birthday. In the constructor, you can see that full name is made from first name and last name. In the My User Details Service class, My User is used to bring the new data from the database into Spring Security. The last class we modified is the Home Controller. Here you can see how we fetch the new My User data from the authentication of Spring Security. We can now start the project and look at the result in our browser window. After we launch our project, we can test it in our browser. As usual, we look at the welcome page first. This one works fine. Then we go to the admin page. After logging in with the developer user, we can view the page. This one also works fine. As you can see, the new custom data from our database is visible. In the next video, we will go deeper into the Spring Security filters. Until then, thank you. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.